in relationship with him. So, from what I've heard, money, latest cell phones, designer bags, accessories, hip clothing, and stylish accessories, and loads and loads of time for socializing are every girl's dream. Am I right, girls? <laughs> right. <laughs> So we have mixed uh, opinions about that. Well, let me introduce you to three such ladies who think they have it all, but really, let's see what they really lack. So sit back and enjoy. Thank you. Hmm, this Botox makes me look younger and thinner. But wait, what's that? Is that a... Is that a pimple? I have to do something about this. Nahi! Palar wali ko bulao! Hai rabba! Ab, mera kya hoga? I wonder who wants me this early. Oh, Sheila and Sanana. Good morning, ladies. Mwah. Mwah. How are you? Never mind that. Oh, is that a new sari? Yeah, I haven't seen it before. How much did you get it for? Oh, this is quite expensive. You know, Raj always buys whatever I want. Oh, ye to kuch bhi nahi hai. You know, my husband just bought me a sari. That even from America. Anyways, darling, your house is beautiful. Wow, the plasma is huge. Is that a 40 inch screen? Not forgetting HD. Do you mind? It's a 60 inch, darling. I wanted 103. But I think that would clash with the furniture. So. What do you think about my facial? You always look fabulous, Lena. Ooh, I like that necklace. This? Oh, I bought it just last week. You know, it is 18 carats. Oh, this is nothing, Sunena. You know, I bought a diamond set, 24 carats. It is so beautiful. Anyways, wow, nice curtains. But it looks a bit bare over there. So what's next on the shopping list? You know, I'd like to get a pretty bird sitting inside a big beautiful cage. Oh, that's different. A real bird in a cage? Duh! So, where are you going to buy the bird? As a matter of fact, I already ordered it from Big Bazaar. Actually, it is going to be delivered this afternoon. Chai coffee? No, darling. Before we forget, we actually came here to invite you to the party on Saturday. At my place, 7 o'clock. Oh, Indian time, your normal time. <laughs> normal time, doll. And make sure you wear red. That is the theme. Oh, thank you for the invite, lovelies. I will definitely be there. Anyway, we got to go. Toodles! Tata! Bye! Oh, my pretty bird looks so nice. We're going to have a great life together. Oh no! There's a little speck of dust on the cage. Let me clean it this very minute. I'll bring normal. Ah, that should do the trick. Feed me! What? Did you just say something? How wonderful! This bird can speak. What birdie? What did you want? 
Excellent! We are going to have a great time talking to one another. You know, I do get quite bored being on my own. Feed me! Feed me! So you're hungry? Okay, first let me clean the cage. There you go. It looks clean now. Wait, what was I supposed to do? Oh, I've already forgotten. Feed me, feed me, feed me! Sorry, Birdie. Let me just answer the phone. Hello. Hello. So, what were you doing? Just cleaning the bird's cage. You? Oh, I just came home from shopping. Oh my gosh, guess what? What? I just saw Priya dyeing her hair in the parlor. Really? By God, I didn't know she had white hair. <laughs> yeah, and I just wanted to remind you about the party. Don't forget, red only, okay? Yes, yes, okay. I gotta go, bye. Ta-da! Feed me, please, feed me! Is that all you can think about? Food? Talking about food, let me see what I should cook for lunch today. Hmm, chole bature, pao bhaji, matar paneer. Hmm, but I don't feel like cooking today. My hair will get spoiled. Please feed me. Chukkar, let me decide what I should eat first. I'm also starving, you know. Hmm, I know what. Let me order from Haldirams. But let me just answer this call. Hi, Sheila. Oh, hello, doll. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Oh, my Bhagavan. The red bean for Serena's party is so old fashioned. Look, Lobat. I was also thinking the same. Okay, lovey. I have to go. My Mr. G just came back. Okay, bye. Bye, Yaar. Oh, wow. It's already 4 o'clock. I only have 3 hours to get ready. I need to do my hair, my face back, paint my nails. Oh, there's so much to do. Bhagwanji, please let me get ready in time. Feed me. I'm dying. That lady is crazy. She has simply been polishing the cage, but she did not feed me at all. I'm dying now. Goodbye, world. <laughs> that party was totally must -year. I agree, Sheila. I think I overstuffed myself with all that paneer. It was too good, yaar. Such man, maine banaya gitse. Ah! So, where's this gorgeous bird you've been talking about? It's over there. Oh wow! The cage looks lovely, and it's shining so bright. But wait. What is this bird boom? Oh, why is the bird at the bottom of the cage? I think it's sleeping. Wait, what has happened to my pretty bird? Speak to me, bird. Why are you lying so still? I think it's... it's... it's dead? Nahi! Nahi! Died. Guys, did you know it would talk to me all day? Oh, you're kidding me. So, like, what did this bird say to you all day? All day long, it kept saying, Feed me, feed me. Oh my god, I think it's died of starvation. Are Pagli, so why did you not feed it? Well, how could I? I was too busy cleaning the cage, buying decorations, admiring how shiny it was. 
and then but what good is a shiny cage if the bed is dead? You know, there must be a moral to this tragedy. Lela, the bird cannot be brought back. But we can change our consciousness from being materialistic to being spiritual. So, how do we do that then? Well, funny you should say this, Lela. While I was leaving the parlor, a Hare Krishna girl came to me, preaching to me about Krishna. Wait a second. What was a Hare Krishna girl doing at the parlor? Oh, don't go off topic. What did she say? Oh yes, well the girl said it's a mistake to think that we are the body. She said we are actually the spirit soul. So, the thinking is that we have these bodies, but we are not these bodies. A bit like we have a car, but we are not the car. You know, what you've said makes sense. So, really, the bodies are temporary, and we, the spirit souls, are eternal. My consciousness has just had a new makeover. Look, I've just found the book she gave me. Written by someone called Sri Laparupad. He said, for spiritual enlightenment, you should chant and be happy. Look here, it says, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, that sounds good. Chalo, let's say it together. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. You know, I think I have realized that we are always shining our bodies just like the cage. And we never have much time for ourselves, the spirit soul. We think too much about the needs of the body and forget about the soul. So, if we simply attach ourselves to the chanting of the holy names of Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, then we will be able to give up all our sense gratification and material attachments. Thus, we may ultimately attain transcendental love for Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.